Alas, poor Helen, once again, um, her husband here had put these in, and, and it's just a rat's nest of stuff, uh, wires coming out all over the place. And I'll clean this thing up here to show you what it's like. This is very typical, even though we come in to do the uh, cleanup of the aluminum and do the pi or do the pigtailing onto the aluminum and then bringing them out to the devices. Since we are changing the devices, they all have to be changed per code to uh, these devices that have the um, tamper-resistant element to them. So this thing here, you can see the little plastic doors inside the outlets so that kitties can't plug little metal objects into them. And so they all have to be replaced. If we're going to be doing the main floor where all the aluminum pigtailing is going to be, they all have to be, and so uh, aluminum or have to be tamper resistant. So all the basement ones must be as well as per code. So when the inspections come in, they see it. So we have to do the basements as well, whether they're copper or not. But this is very typical what we run into when we have uh, the copper situations in the basement. Usually uh, amateur electricians come and do their own work and it turns into a rat's nest like this and quite frankly this is a real pain for us because we have to replace these then we have to clean all this mess up and make it to code so that uh, it's safe. <laughs> and you can see here one of the things that's against code is, and it's unnecessary in this case, you don't need to have two ground wires coming under the ground screw. That just a, makes, makes for a bad connection. So we're going to clean that all up and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment.